All right, guys, the plan for the day today, a couple of things. First and foremost, yesterday, uh, you took your carbon cycle quiz. Um, so like we um, do on these bigger quizzes, uh, we're going to give you an opportunity to get some points back. So um, what we've done is in this cycles folder uh, is given you the carbon cycle quiz corrections. Uh, for me, they are right underneath my carbon cycle quiz. Uh, so when you open this uh, optional activity up, you'll find the attachment, which I'm going to show you here in Notability real quick. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll take that file, send it over to Notability like I did. Uh, first thing, make sure you get the initial score up there. So you'll go back to your carbon cycle quiz. You could do a side-by-side -side, uh, with this in your quiz. Put that initial score up there. Uh, and then, just like always, please make sure you're following this, these directions so it's easy for us to uh, give you those points back. Uh, so for each question, you're either going to put a little star for the ones that you got right uh, or circle the ones that you got incorrect. Um, when you are all done um, doing that, going through each question for uh, those that you got incorrect, so let's say I got number two incorrect, you're going to go over here and complete that entire uh, correction question. Um, you feel free to use your, your resources. Go back, take a look at videos, go back, take a look at notes, activities that we did, um, and fill in those quiz correction questions. Remember, just by doing the quiz correction questions doesn't mean that you get the points back. You need to do them correctly. Um, so um, that is that for the quiz corrections. I want to be very clear and make sure that I let you know that this is optional, okay? Um, so do those if you want to. If you, if you don't want to uh, or if you got a perfect score, you don't have to. Um, turn those in. Um, upload that notability to uh, Schoology when you're done. Um, otherwise, the plan for the day today is to hopefully do something that is review, uh, which is the water cycle. So. Underneath the carbon cycle quiz corrections, I have my water cycle video and note outline. When I open that up, you can see the very first link is the video. Uh, that will be Miss Chumley going through the um, water cycle. Um, open that up. Uh, again, that should open up in YouTube. Um, you should and, and could do a side-by-side -side with the note outline. So this second link will take you to, I've got this in Notability as well for you, um, this document right here. So this one's a little bit different. You know, we do have our fill in the blanks down here, uh, but unlike the carbon cycle, uh, your diagram is going to go here and it's not really drawn all that much for you. Okay, so um, eventually Miss Chumley will give you a screen that has um, land on this side, water on this side. Uh, there's a picture of flounder in the water from Little Mermaid. Uh, the sun is over here. Okay, so what you'll need to do is um, make your picture in this area look like what Miss Chumley has. Okay, because she's going to then draw arrows showing different processes like precipitation and evaporation for the water cycle. So, really important that you get this diagram looking the way that it needs to be, drawing arrows, finishing the arrows, labeling everything. And then down here, like always, um, are your fill in the blank notes and she will be <clears throat> giving those to you uh, as you go. Okay, now uh, you've got your two essential questions down here which relate to the essential questions up at the top. So really important that you make sure and answer those correctly. Okay, when she's done going through those, she's going to move on to the second page of these notes and she's going to give you the definition of what impervious is really important and um, examples of impervious surfaces. The second page of this is to get you to understand how humans are impacting the water cycle. So we've got um, five different pictures up here up at the top showing you um, what's happening as we go from a natural um, ecosystem and the water cycle and where the water is going to um, a more urbanized picture and what, what, what changes as you move from one to the other. So you're going to fill in the percentages as you go and take a look at natural all the way to 100% impervious. What's happening with, you're focusing on the total amount, so you're going to have to add uh, the different infiltrations, 
the shallow and the deep, okay? Percent infiltration and then percent runoff and then percent evapotranspiration, okay? Um, seeing how that changes. And then down here, there are six questions to answer. Really important that when it says to include data that you need numbers there, guys, okay? They're there for a reason, you need to use them, all right? So that should take you through what you need to do for the day today. Uh, again, remember you are starting with those quiz questions if you want to, don't have to, and then moving into the water cycle.